Buckle up, music lovers, because we're taking a time machine back to 2017, the year Adele dominated the Grammys like never before. It was a night of raw emotion, unexpected turns, and enough golden gramophones to fill a trophy room. Tonight, we're counting down the top 10 moments that made Adele's 2017 Grammys the night she truly owned the spotlight. Okay, let's get this party started with a bit of a head-scratcher. As Adele's acceptance speech for Album of the Year winds down, a voice bursts out, What's up? This is Monkey from Q Internet Meltdown. Who was Monkey? Was it a diss? A random fan? Turns out it was just a technical glitch from a local radio station that somehow snuck onto the Grammys broadcast. But for a few minutes, Monkey had the world buzzing. Forget your typical self-congratulatory acceptance speeches. Adele had something bolder in mind. When she took home Album of the Year, she tearfully declared, The artist of my life is Beyonce. Talk about a mic drop moment. Adele went on to praise Beyonce's Lemonade as monumental and beautiful, acknowledging Queen Bee's undeniable impact on music and culture. It was a moment of pure respect and admiration, proving that even the biggest stars can fangirl hard. Buckle up, tissues at the ready. Adele's Grammy speech wasn't just about Beyonce love. It was a raw, vulnerable outpouring of emotion. She reflected on motherhood, the struggles of finding herself after losing herself in it, and ultimately, the joy of reconnecting with her music. Every tear, every laugh, felt utterly genuine. It was a glimpse into the soul of a superstar, reminding us that even the most talented artists are human too. We all know Adele belts out powerful vocals, but she doesn't do it alone. Let's give some love to the incredible team behind her magic. Producers Danger Mouse, Samuel Dixon, Greg Kirsten, Max Martin, and Ryan Tedder. Adele took a moment in her acceptance speech to thank them, acknowledging that it takes a village to create a masterpiece like 25. It's a reminder that the music industry is a collaborative effort, and every song is the result of countless talented minds working together. Let's face it, Hello was the 2015-2016 anthem, and its live performance at the Grammys was pure nostalgia. The stage transformed into a cozy living room, complete with a roaring fireplace and twinkling lights. Adele, bathed in warm gold spotlights, delivered the song with her signature power and soul. It was a moment of intimacy in the midst of a dazzling ceremony, reminding us why Hello became such a global phenomenon. Forget diamonds, Adele was dripping in gold at the 2017 Grammys. Not only did she snag Record of the Year and Song of the Year for Hello, but 25 took home the ultimate prize, Album of the Year. And guess what? This wasn't her first rodeo. 25 marked her second time sweeping the big three categories, cementing her place as one of the most decorated artists of her generation. As Adele walked on stage to accept Songwriter of the Year, the entire audience erupted in a thunderous standing ovation. It was a moment of pure appreciation for her raw talent and storytelling prowess. This wasn't just about winning an award. It was a recognition for Adele's ability to translate the human experience into songs that resonate with millions. It was a moment that reaffirmed her position as a musical force to be reckoned with. Not just a pop star, but a true artist with something profound to say. 25 wasn't just an album, it was Adele's personal journey. Becoming a mother, confronting heartbreak, and rediscovering herself as an artist, she poured her raw emotions into every song. And on that Grammy stage, she bared her soul, making us laugh, cry, and everything in between. We all know Hello is a tearjerker, but live, forget about it. Adele held that entire auditorium in her thrall, her voice soaring through the rafters with every note. It was a masterclass in vulnerability and raw talent, reminding us why she's the queen of ballads. The accolades kept rolling in. 25 wasn't just album of the year, it also snagged record of the year and song of the year. Hello and Send My Love weren't just chart toppers, they were sonic tapestries woven with heartbreak, empowerment, and everything in between. This wasn't Adele's first rodeo. With 25, she became the first artist to win album, record, and song of the year twice, joining the ranks of Beyonce and Stevie Wonder. And let's not forget her previous wins for 21, Girl was basically collecting Grammys like Infinity Stones. Remember that stunned silence before the first verse hit? When We Were Young was Adele's gift to the Grammys, a brand new song delivered with raw vulnerability and breathtaking power. The intro, just piano and vocals, sent shivers down spines. Then the full band kicked in, transforming the ballad into a gospel sing-along that had even Beyonce swaying in her seat. It was a world premiere, a Grammy exclusive, and a moment etched in music history. Not all Grammy-winning songs are born in fancy studios. 
million years ago started life in Adele's kitchen, a simple melody sung into a voice memo. Fast forward to Grammy night, and she's belting it out on the world's biggest stage, accompanied by a gospel choir and a soaring string section. This wasn't just a performance, it was a journey, a testament to the magic that happens when raw talent meets unwavering passion. Forget backing tracks, Adele brought a whole choir with her. Send My Love wasn't just a breakup anthem, it was a symphony of heartbreak, a vocal tapestry woven with anger, forgiveness, and a touch of sass. Watching her harmonize with the choir, eyes closed, emotions raw. It was like we were all invited into her inner storm, sharing every tear and bittersweet laugh. Remember when Adele was a busker, belting out tunes in London pubs? Well, rumor has it brought those early days back to the Grammys. The stripped down arrangement, just her and a piano, showcased her voice in all its glory. The playful sass, the effortless runs, the storytelling in every note. It was a reminder of where she came from, an ode to the raw talent that took her from smoky pubs to the brightest stage in music. Forget confetti and pyrotechnics. Remedy needed none of that. This soulful ballad was all about vulnerability, sung with such rawness it felt like watching someone whisper secrets into a lover's ear. The piano chords echoed the heartbeat, her voice cracked with emotion, and the lyrics were like poetry carved with pain. It wasn't just a song, it was a confession, a moment of shared human experience that left everyone breathless. Remember that shy teenager belting out tunes in smoky London bars? Chasing pavements brought that raw energy back to the Grammys. Stripped down, acoustic with just a hint of nostalgia, it was a reminder of where Adele came from, a tribute to her roots as a street performer chasing dreams. Seeing her sing it on that grand stage, with the same passion and grit as those early days, was a heartwarming journey, proving that true talent always shines through. Forget studio polish, this was Adele unleashed. Water Under the Bridge wasn't just a song, it was a vocal tornado, a powerhouse performance that had the entire Staples Center on its feet. From the whispered verses to the belted chorus, she painted the picture of emotional release, of letting go and moving on. Remember Adele's heartfelt declaration of Beyonce's greatness? Well, she didn't stop there. When presented with Album of the Year, she surprised everyone by saying she couldn't accept it, stating that Beyonce's Lemonade deserved the award. This wasn't some political ploy or calculated move. It was Adele, genuine and unfiltered, choosing artistic integrity over self-promotion. It broke the mold of typical acceptance speeches, sparking conversations about artistic merit and the power of female artists uplifting each other. All I Ask might be a ballad, but Adele's live performance at the Grammys was anything but tame. Dressed in a shimmering emerald gown, she commanded the stage with her powerhouse vocals and emotional delivery. Every note, every nuance felt charged with raw emotion, taking the audience on a roller coaster of love, longing, and vulnerability. It was a masterclass in live performance, proving why Adele is a queen of both the studio and the stage. And finally, we reached the top spot, the moment that truly solidified Adele's 2017 Grammys as the night of her life. As the final chords of Someone Like You faded, her face streaked with tears, Adele simply said, thank you. This, in a nutshell, is why Adele's 2017 Grammys performance will forever be etched in music history. So there you have it, music lovers, the top 10 moments that made Adele's 2017 Grammys the night she truly owned the spotlight. It was a night of triumph, vulnerability, and unexpected twists, reminding us why Adele is not just a singer, but a cultural phenomenon. Thanks for joining us on this musical journey. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. And until next time, keep those playlists filled with Adele, because her music deserves to be played on repeat.